Let's have a look at some volume basics. Well, what is volume? It's a measurement of the space taken up by a 3D object. Okay, uh, when we compare this to measurements of length or distance, uh, that just measures the length from one point to another point, so we've just got units of length. Uh, when we measure area, that's the it's a, it's a surface uh, within a boundary. Okay, an um, area has two dimensions of length, so we have square units and volume because it has three dimensions of length. We have cubic units. Let, let's go have a look at this uh, basic shape, a cuboid, and and we'll figure out its volume. Now, what is a cuboid? Well. It's kind of like a cube, except it can be uh, stretched uh, horizontally or vertically. Okay, in that sense, it's got uh, all straight edges, six sides, and all the ang internal angles are 90 degrees. Okay, so uh, if it hasn't got any of those properties, it's not a cuboid. So, what would the volume be here? Uh, if you're thinking like a center cube, we could literally break this up, okay? Uh, well, if you had, okay, like that and that, you can see there's six units squared on that surface and Something like this, coming up here, and see how we do this. Um, might as well keep using the ruler. Just to get a, an idea of how many cubic units there are in here. Okay, so this bit here looks like a cube. Um, and, and we can see there are, well, one, two, three, four, five, six cubes, um, six by four, so we're looking at 24 center cubes here, if, if it was centimeters or cubic units. Um, now that just happens to work out nicely for this formula. Volume is the length times breadth times height. Now, if your shape is a cuboid, you can use this formula. So length, we'll say it's 4, times breadth is 3, times height is 2, and units cubed, so that's 24 units cubed. Okay, well, what happens if it's not a cuboid? Well, another way of looking at this problem here is to say, Whatever the length is, it's the surface of this shape, the area of, of one of the cross sections of this prism, because it's a prism, okay, and then multiply it by that length. So, let's just test it out, okay. Volume equals uh, length times area okay and this is cross section uh, it has to be a prism of course if it changes its uh, its cross section throughout then um, that it's going to affect our calculation so let's have a look at this does it work well volume equals length here is four times what's the area of uh, that's six you get the 24 units squared that we're after. Oop, I should say units cubed. Sorry. Okay, let's have a look then at a triangular prism. See if that works. So, uh, volume of a triangle. 
prism triangular prism is that'll do so let's have a look let's uh, call this uh, well make up some dimensions here 6 by 4 by 10 units so when we are faced with a problem like this we first identify is it a prism is it a prism well we go ahead and put this in. Okay, then we are saying that the cross section is uniform. So, what we have to do is calculate the area of this uh, cross section here. As we're, we are going to follow the formula, volume is area times length. Okay. So, what's the area of the triangle? Area of the triangle is half times the base times perpendicular height. Half times 6 times 4. That's 12 units squared. Alright, so that's 12 there multiplied by 10. And we get our cubic units and that's 120 units cubed so we're going to this is very useful now this formula uh, you might see it uh, referred to as v equals a h as well depends which way you really look at it height or length Okay, if the prism's lying down, you'd say length. If it's standing up, you'd say height. Okay, so if it's a prism, that formula is going to do the job for us. Well, there are some other shapes that we'll need to find out uh, the volume of, and such as the cylinder. Now, uh, volume of a cylinder uh, is a cylinder a prism technically no but it follows all the properties of it except for not having uh, straight edges so in that sense uh, we can use the same formula okay so H in this sense uh, and and uh, sometimes they'll give you problems where they give you the the uh, uh, the area this might be 30 units squared and the height equals 10 units what would the volume of this shape be this cylinder this well we simply just use our V equals AH and area well we're already told that remember A in this case is this cross section okay as long as it's uniform uh, that's going to be fine for us okay and volume equals 30 units squared times 10 units so again we've got units cubed. After we uh, look at a shape like this then we can look at some composite shapes of basic shapes and uh, the idea there is simply to split it up, break it up into its different components. So let's have a look. Um, what would the volume of this shape be? Well it's simply the component of the separate shape. So if you um, calculated the uh, 
volume of that semi-cylinder and add it to the, uh, let's draw it down here a bit okay we add those volumes together the sum of the volumes of the components will equal the composite shape so uh, well let's have a look at this what is the uh, volume oh, let's write some dimensions in so that diameter is 10 and the length is 10 okay so if the diameter is 10 that means what's the radius radius must equal 5 now because this is uh, follows our rule of having a congruent cross section okay we can we just need to find the area of that semicircle so because we're going to use a formula V equals a L okay or H depends which way you look at it um, in this case we'll just say length so what is the area well a circle is pi r squared and a semicircle would be half that so pi 5 squared over 2 now uh, it's going to be 12.5 pi as an exact answer let's round that to one decimal place now uh, what would you expect well 36 38 is going to be close enough 12 well, there's something to ex expect anyway while we, while, we, while we put this into our calculator 39 so which equals 39.26 so that's going to make it 0.3 uh, this is area unit squared to one decimal place okay now we use this now in our volume calculation uh, we, you know, the good thing about having exact answers is that we can plug this in to our formula and we don't uh, lose any accuracy with that uh, so let's just uh, stick with our 39.3 multiplied by 10 and we are going to say that the volume is to the nearest unit is 393 units cubed for that for that top section now let's find the volume of the bottom section 10 10 and five well this is a cuboid so we don't have to uh, do anything too complex here it is simply uh, length times breadth times height which is 10 times 10 times 5 which is 500 units cubed and there you have uh, well the separate parts so what would the composite solution be uh, well it's you know, what you can do is label parts of this one and two um, so volume total is volume one plus volume two which is Three nine three plus five hundred units cubed, which is eight nine three units cubed altogether.